Why? Every swing arm comes with a free shaker. <laughs> Remember to also film what you're doing while you're doing it. Today we are going to finish up Q Fung's build by putting in some chain. We're going to go with H25, which is a common number. It's what almost comes with your bike originally. What comes with your bike is a 25. This is 25H, which is, stands for heavy, heavy duty. And they just make it a little bit thicker, but it still fits the same sprockets. So definitely buy yourself a couple of meters and get extra master links. I bought another pack of master links today and, and I still managed to lose them. So luckily I still have one more. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, build a chain. So first thing you need is a 12 millimeter and a 10 millimeter so that you can go ahead and hold the shaft and then release the nut. This is backwards. This is not where you're used to. So righty is not tidy. Righty is loose. Left is tight. So that's how you do it. And <laughs> try it again, right? <laughs> One handy. Now that the nut's off, we need to get this lock washer off and then get the sprocket off. That's how I do it. I push against the sprocket and then I'll go on the other side of it and do it again. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now you can see me moving it. Now that I know it's loose, I can take it off. Next, we're going to slap on a 15 tooth sprocket. She's a big girl. So, we're going to get that on there. Put the lock washer back on. And then lefty, tighty, righty, loosey. I'll tighten it up using the motor in a second. What's next? Just to mount the chain. With my chain pulled as tight as I can do it, we're going to go ahead and match it right above this link. And then I'll cut it or pull the pin. Using two hands, I went ahead and marked the end of the chain that matches the other end of the chain for me by putting this nylon strap tie in. That way I wouldn't confuse it for another link. And then we'll either cut or pull the tab out. I haven't decided. We get our chain tensioner. We already got it mounted because it's easy. <laughs> Don't even act like I was going to do it normally. There we go. And then we just go ahead and pop it off with a little screwdriver. Oops, maybe it'd be better if I did it in focus, huh? There we go. Now I can take it apart. Link it up. Okay. Now I still have to put on my master link. All right, that's the last piece. Tensioner's on. Chain's good. Lines up pretty good. There you go, buddy. Got your chain, your tensioner, wheel. Everything's ready to rock and roll. I just need to finish the headlight switch for your lights and your headlight. Already mounted the top post. Now I just need to go ahead and finish putting it all together. And then your kit. Ugh, the kit is right here. Everything's pretty much ready to go. And I'll go ahead and uh, get the lights on. Uh, I don't know exactly where you want to put these. So I think it's best that I just let you decide. And there's double-sided tape here. Use rubbing alcohol before you mark it. And then they'll lay in real nice and flat. There's your uh, volt voltage reducer, and then we'll run it off of this switch right here, so it'll look factory as heck. And then, of course, you'll have your uh, music lights and uh, USB charger. I'll put it inside of here, so it's not really noticeable, except for just the remote, so you'll only see the remote. You won't see anything else, so it'll be in there. Pretty cool, huh? Trains are very important. Those are PGN, however, there are many other brands, including Maple Tree and many more. Blake Crosby, the world's fastest razor, likes to use ceramic bearings. 
And I get that. That's definitely understandable. However, I don't have them and I don't plan to go that fast. Not even contractually allowed to go that fast. So, here we are. 190 millimeter rotor. High speed wheel bearings. RSF WIM. I mean, wheel with uh, MMG and tires. I believe that's a 7030 tire. I'm looking for the markings, but I can't tell. But it's a 3 inch wide, 10 inch wheel. And it'll do the job. I hope Q enjoys it. This is Nico's swing arm for his uh, QS165. I think it's going to be great. Here's the brakes that I'm sending with. Gold two pistons. They do a really good job. They come with a brake switch. And you even get a free set of brake pads. How beautiful is that? That was a lot of holes.